friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about a very crucial topic about CSI net exam preparation. I will I will be sharing I will be sharing seven strategies to crack CSI net examination. Seven strategies that you can follow right now, whether your time preparation horizon is one month, three months, six months, or a year. But these seven strategies are crucial to crack CSI net exam. So I'm going to discuss about all the seven important strategies that will help you to qualify CSI net exam in a fast scale, in a better preparation. So let me take a color and let's start talking about the seven important strategies to crack CSI net examination. Now I'll be listing this strategy based on my personal experience and experience of teaching for all these years. So the very first strategy is positive mindset. You need to have a positive mindset before starting any kind of exam preparation. So believe that you can qualify. If you don't believe in yourself, you will not be able to qualify the exam. So the very first thing is that go through the exam, know your exam, what exam you are appearing in. I know many students, they are asking me always question regarding what kind of exam it is, what kind of questions will be there. So if you don't know the exam, you cannot prepare, right? So exam is your enemy in this case and you need to know the enemy very well. That's how, that's what it is. And believe in yourself that you can qualify. It's not that difficult. You can still qualify for it. The second strategy is regular. Okay, so how much regular you are in terms of your preparation? Basically, uh, I've seen people who are regular but can give only three to four hours a day. But they are regular. They give three to four hours every single day. Get much higher chance of qualifying the exam than those who are much enthusiastic at the beginning of your preparation and then all the energy drops. And 98% of people belong to the second category where they are very excited, very pumped up at the very beginning initiation phase of their preparation. Then slowly their energy drops. Don't be in the second category. Be in the first category where you can give four to five hours, six hours. First decide depending upon your routine and stick to it. For a long run that will definitely get you benefit. The third strategy is concept over memory. In CSI and NET, if you focus on memory, there are two types of questions. Memory based questions, which are direct question part B and also in some part C question, memory is needed. But there are conceptual questions, which is mostly in part C as well as in paper A, or the first common paper. So in both these cases, concept is the key. Now, why I say concept over memory? Because if you have good concept of a topic, then that concept is going to stay with you for a long period of time. But if you simply focus on memory based question, it will erase because we read, we forget. The more you read, the more you'll forget. There are 13 units. Let's say start from biochemistry unit one, continue to read, read, read and memory based question you're preparing. While you reach seven or eighth unit, you'll forget biochemistry. So if you believe in yourself, if you read the concepts well, if you understand the concepts well, it's going to stay with you for long run. So if you prepare the concept once, it's going to stay with you for upcoming two, three, four, five, six net to come. Okay, that's why concept is very important over memory. And prepare conceptual question at the very beginning, prepare conceptual topics at the very beginning of the preparation, and memory based question at the end of a preparation. Because this will stay with you so that you can apply uh, the memory and get the answers during the exam hall. Strategy number four to crack CSI net exam is solve question papers. You need to solve question papers. So basically what you need to do in the exam hall, you need to solve question papers. So you don't need to just read, revise, but solve question papers. So to solve question paper, you always need to practice it. But when should you practice? Once your concept is clear, once you know that the topic is ready for you, you're satisfied with your preparation, then try to solve some questions from that topic. Okay. And then try to find out where you lag, write it down, write those topics down, prepare them again, again, try to solve question paper. That's the fourth strategy. The fifth strategy to crack CSI net exam is a revision. It's very, very important that people generally don't go for it, but revision is very important. This is the time when you recall the concepts that you learned earlier. And this time you understand where you exactly are present in terms of preparation skill because while you prepare at the very beginning when you read topics from the books and the videos and lectures and all these things everything seems really easier that yeah I can understand I can but when you try to recall you find yourself stuck in different locations different topics different regions this is the time where you need to understand you need to find that you're stuck and you need to revise that's why revision is very very important and I personally believe revision is something that you should do that you can do 
uh, at the last two three months two months if your preparation horizon is six month then one and a half month or two months will be the revision at the end if your preparation scheme is one year then two to three months will be revision time if it's one and a half year then uh, four months revision time revision time is very very important if it's six month or five months course then one month a revision at the end is really really important okay the sixth feature uh, the sixth strategy to crack csi net exam is maximum exposure is key so what is what i mean by maximum exposure maximum exposure means the maximum number of topics that you cover remember there are 13 units right 13 units out there and in 13 units uh, many students ask me like sir can we exclude some of the units yeah i also say that you can exclude this this and that but there's no specific uh, you know logic behind telling you to leave a unit i should not right nobody should because the more units you cover the better chance you get to answer maximum questions now why i say that let me take a color that can be explained here why i say that because uh, what happens is that let's say you prepared unit 7 unit 8 unit 10 very well and you snubbed unit 4 and unit 5 and unit let's say 11 so you prepared them very well you did not prepare this unit very well so what will happen is that let's assume that you prepared these units very well you have very good expectation from the units and somehow that year that net exam you found out that the question came coming from unit 7 and 8 are very very tough very tough question very tough question coming while they are easy question from unit 5 11 and 4 but as you haven't prepared unit 4 5 and 11 you couldn't even answer the easy questions and you stuck with the complicated question because you focus more time on unit 7 8 and 10 for example okay it's not naturally happening but it's the example so what will happen is that snubbing this three unit uh, will not allow you to answer all the questions that you need to answer in part c as well as in part b that will decrease your score and chance of grf will also be lost that's why it's always advisable that you cover maximum units not in very deep of knowledge if possible for some units shallow knowledge but still maximum unit should be your target okay maximum exposure is important and for maximum exposure one more thing that you will need and that is time devotion time without time without devotion you cannot without devotion you cannot prepare maximum units imagine 13 units you need to prepare in six month time frame 13 units in six months so approximately two unit per month that you need to prepare so 15 days you'll get in your hands per unit for preparation if your preparation time frame is six months okay i generally believe preparation time frame nine months to one year nine months to one year is suitable it's good otherwise six months would become very difficult for anyone to prepare it's non-scientific but if you search youtube you will find out people are asking for preparing for csi net examination in one month i'll also make a video on that later on but this is the time game and that gives us the last and final strategy to crack csi net exam and that is input time equals output result simple uh, again newton's law here the amount of effort that you'll put the amount of result that you'll see okay so basically there is no shortcut in here if you want to find shortcut this is not the place see if you prepare one hour a day now depending upon your preparation skill depending upon your mindset it varies some can prepare the same concept same things in two hours some takes 10 hours that's separate game but on average if you prepare less time if you in, in, if you involve with less time if you give less input as a time value to the subject preparation for this exam preparation the result and outcome you are going to get is also subjected to the time that you put so there is no shortcut you need to work really really hard because if you are giving two hours a day reading the same topic nowadays everybody's brain is good there is nothing like this person is good this person is not good considering everyone as an average student considering everyone as an average student there will be exceptional students separate let's separate them but considering everyone as an average student if you are giving two hours a day some someone else is giving six hours a day that person will get more out of it right so basically the effort that you'll put the result and outcome you are going to see so eat sleep revise and repeat this is what you should do throughout this time frame so basically focus on all these things turn off all the noise and uh, the social media stuff and everything apart from the things like youtube if you consider as a social media then only watch the lectures and and, and all these things from youtube for your preparation but what happened is that we get hooked to different things there are pop-ups coming in for new cinema trailer and 
all these things and uh, there are also other social media platforms that are always bombarding at you while you're studying so it's better that keep a three four years time frame where you only focus to the study and the only thing that that can help you to get there is this work the amount of hard work that you put that's going to give you the result so these things are the seven strategies to crack csi net examination seven strategies that will help you to crack csi net examination if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye